Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Bennett, and this is the Ramble. It goes from now until midnight, Eastern Daylight Time, and uh, we're live. If we weren't live, could I do that? No, well, I guess I could. Uh, no, but if you're listening to us at any other time but uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time, or 10 to midnight Eastern Daylight Time, uh, you're not listening to us live, you're listening to a recording. <clears throat> My voice is hoarse today, and I have no idea why it's hoarse. My voice is a horse, of course, of course. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, no, my voice is hoarse today, and <coughs> mm, I think it has a lot to do with uh, uh, the uh, uh, there's a p- maybe pollen in the air or something. But I did I, f- I didn't feel like doing the show tonight because uh, uh, but I always do it right, no matter what. I always do the show. So, uh, you know, I mean, I almost didn't do it. I almost figured, you know, like uh, Damien wasn't going to do a show tonight. And uh, I figured if I didn't do a show tonight, I could tell Jack that he didn't have to do a show tonight. And and we'd take the whole night off for Gabnet. Why not? So uh, anyway, I got uh, uh, it. it, uh, Did you have a nice uh, Labor Day weekend? I I did. And I didn't. I didn't because we could have gone out to Fire Island and spent the weekend out there. I could have taken Friday off from here and maybe even Thursday and gone out there and spent a long weekend in Fire Island. But girlfriend didn't want to go. So we were stuck in the house. And, and because our friend Jack and Natalia went out, um, they said, could you take care of the kitty? So uh, I took, we took care of the kitty. Uh, and we love this cat. I love this cat. She's a, she's a sweet animal, but she's a, a, she. I don't know. I think this is a terrible threes or something, because uh, there there is something that she's doing. That's uh, I got to do a few things here. So don't mind if you're watching me on the video and I'm changing a few things. Uh, she uh, she's very needy at this point, and so uh, uh, she would follow me around the house and she would trip me. And uh, after a couple of days, it really became very exhausting. Um, but I love the cat, you know, and she's a sweetie. And what are you going to do? So anyway, I got to let's see here. I forgot to bring up all my stuff that I need here to do the show. I, uh, I was going to have my ex-wife on tonight, Ronnie, but uh, her, she, her computer broke. Completely went south and she has no way to do Skype. So we'll have her on next week. So I have nothing to put on here but this, okay? Um, and uh, broken computers seem to be the, the history of me lately, okay? Um, and, and a lot of work, too, I might add. Uh, more than you would uh, know. Uh, I, uh, as you may remember the other day, <clears throat> I talked about the fact that my, uh, boy, my voice is hoarse. Uh, tonight, you guys are going to have to do the talking. Uh, I, I talked the other night about the fact that uh, I, I my, literally, my mini, my Mac Mini that I bought from Phil for three hundred bucks blew up. I plugged it into the wall. Sparks went flying, and then nothing was working. So I took it down there, and they told me, uh, "Well, it's probably going to need a new logic board." Uh, cost about three hundred and seventy-five dollars. I go well, you know. Who knows how gonna, long I'm going to live, and if my whole life and my survival is dependent on three hundred and seventy-five dollars, then I really better worry about how much money I have. Anyway, so uh, uh, we um, uh, did. Uh, uh, so I. So I. I uh, they said. Well, we, we can repair it for you. And I said, okay, well, you know. And they said, we don't know what's wrong with it, but we can repair it. Okay. So I left it with them. They said it'd take about two weeks. 
this was on what Thursday Wednesday Thursday something like that and uh, I get a call yesterday I uh, uh, two days ago your uh, machine will be ready on on Tuesday but what do you want to do with it I said what do you mean what do I want to do with it they said well uh, the, uh, we got it going again okay we got it, managed to make it work so uh, uh, you can just take it and pay the 79 bucks for the repair, but there's a problem. I said, what? He said, in the process, it fried your audio outlets. Now, if you, he said, if you have uh, uh, Thunderbolt to go to audio, then that's fine. You know, then you're, you're good to go. But if you're going to use a regular output out of the bag, I said, hell with it replace the logic board because I need the audio I need the analog audio coming out of it so uh, they fixed it and I brought it home today and then nothing worked but then all of a sudden I pulled out one of the monitors and then the one monitor lit up but the other one wouldn't go and by trial and error I realized I'd somehow fried the display cable so I went back this is after going down there to pick up my machine and coming back I then get back, and the temperature, by the way, 92 degrees, feels like 103, all right? And I go back in the subway, and I go back down to Apple for a $29 little cable, and I come back. I got the thing going again. The only thing is, my entire uh, 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 hard drive was erased. So all the settings I had for it had changed, and now I'm trying to figure out how do you get these settings back. It's it's just so, but I, at least it's working, and it's uh, I, I consider it my secondary machine because if this thing ever goes out, my uh, my Mac here, my big Mac here, I can use that. Okay, it'd be just fine. But anyway, where was I? So back back to where we were. Um, so. Uh, that was broken, okay? Uh, and I find that when things break, everything breaks. And then I hear from my, my ex-wife, Ronnie. Her computer completely went out, okay? There's two, okay? The third was um, Marjorie has a computer here. It's an iMac I gave her back in 2009. Time for her to get a new computer. But it still works. And I go there, and it's just having all kinds of problems where it just freezes up. So I'm trying one thing or another, and in the process, I trash the hard drive. But luckily, I've got a backup. You know, I've got the, uh, the, ba the backup uh, disk. And uh, I was so proud of myself. I erased it. I put in the new Mac OS. And then it asked me, do you want to restore uh, a previous, you know, configuration? I said yes. And then for the next eight hours, it ground, ground away or grinded away or gro grounded, grounded. It, it, it worked. And it came back. And then I turned it on. I'm so proud of myself. Her machine is now working. And she keeps going, but will I have all my stuff on it and everything? I said, what do you think a backup is? Yes, you will have everything where it was at 519 on Friday, okay? And sure enough, it, it's, it's that way, and she's, she's good to go. Great, great little machine. That, that little iMac lasted forever. I, the thing I don't like about iMacs, here's the problem with the iMac. Um, the problem with the iMac is that it's all in one thing. Okay, so you got a hard drive in there and you got your memory and you got your logic board and you got everything. Whereas normally with a computer, I've got my computer and then I've got a, uh, the, you know, the, uh, the display and uh, they're all separate. The problem with this is, is that if you, it, it's not like they made it easy for you with the Mac, iMac, uh, where if you, let's say I want to just, you know, give up and uh, say my hard drive is trashed, it doesn't work anymore, and I want to change my hard drive. Well, I looked up at changing the hard drive in an iMac, 
and you have to have a electronics degree from MIT to do it. Uh, and it is absolutely impossible. Now, did Apple think of maybe just having a little slide in the back where you slide in a new uh, hard? No, no, they had to like, it's in there in this jungle of wires and everything in this very concise and small space machine. Also, you can't, if, if you buy it with uh, six, eight gigs of memory, that's all you're ever gonna have. You can't go in and change it. Uh, and I suppose if the hard drive goes, you can have a new hard drive put in, but am I gonna spend three, four hundred dollars to put in a new hard drive in this iMac when it's 2009? So what happens when the hard drive goes? You basically got a brick on your hands. And there's some way you can use that monitor, but it's not that easy to use it as an auxiliary monitor. If you could just, if they just had a little plug in the back and you could just use it like a regular display, that would be great too. But no, that's not Apple's way. Apple's way is making it very, so do not buy an iMac, whatever you do. You're better off getting a Mac mini and then getting your own monitor uh, because, uh, and I, I've been using one here uh, to put out the programs on, on the network uh, 24 seven for the last year or so and it's been working flawlessly and it looks just like a Mac and it's fast and it's, it, so, uh, you know, forget about an iMac. Do not buy an iMac. Because if your hard drive goes, you're, you're gonna have quite an expense. Now, if it's under warranty, that's one thing. But once the warranty goes out, so, you know, one day this thing is gonna completely go and I'm gonna have a beautiful, wonderful screen that does not a fucking goddamn thing, all right? Okay, so that was another thing that went. Anything else go? No, that's pretty much it. I think I think everything else. Uh, oh, the mailbox lock broke. But I, does that come under the same category as this other stuff? Okay. I'm uh, I'm I'm very tired tonight, uh, and uh, I, I have the, we've had this this problem with uh, with it's got to be pollen. Uh, and because my voice all of a sudden got very hoarse today and I didn't, wasn't screaming and I don't have a cold and, or anything like that. So anyway, there's that. Anyway, where are we? So uh, I guess some of the things we're going to talk about tonight on the show once we go to the citizen panel, and I may do that shortly, is that uh, the citizens panel uh, it is going to have to deal with a subject matter tonight that is a, a, a really interesting subject matter. Uh, we have several things. The uh, Kavanaugh hearing today on Capitol Hill, which was just so contentious. And people were there demonstrating. I mean, I've never se they've never seen anything like it in the House... Uh, the Senate uh, Judiciary Committee or whatever committee that is. They've never seen that kind of behavior going on, uh, uh, except in this particular instance, and it's really, really bad, okay? So um, it's amazing what, what, the, what was going on today. And I sat there watching it. I don't usually sit there watching these things because <clears throat> I don't, I, number one, I can't stand the congressmen, even the Democrats. I mean, they're, most of them are old and craggy, you know, especially the guys who are the head of the committee. And they just, they shouldn't even be, look, I'm old, okay? I'm sitting here telling you that I think that all people in government should retire at, at uh, 65, 70. I don't think Donald Trump at 70 should be president of the United States. I think that's a job that takes a lot of energy. And I got to tell you, and I know by experience that at 70, you don't have it. I don't care what he says. Oh, well, he goes out and plays golf a lot. Yeah, like I believe he really plays golf. Have you seen how fat he is? Golf players are not that fat, okay? Either that or it's not exercise, all right? But anyway, uh, uh, it, just, it was just, um, uh, it, it was really something to watch today. 
the, 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 is it Brett Kavanaugh? Brent Kavanaugh? Anyway, and then uh, the other thing to talk about tonight is Bob Woodward's book is coming out. Uh, and it's a book he did about the White House. Now, already the White House is saying it's all lies, none of it's truth, fake news, all of that. But basically, there are some things in here that are, I, I have a whole article on it, which I just haven't had, had the time to read. But it basically says, uh, it was done, it was drawn from hundreds of hours and interviews with firsthand participants and witnesses that were on, on deep background, meaning the information could be used, but he would not reveal who provided it. His account is also drawn from meeting notes, personal diaries, and government documents. Woodward depicts Trump's anger and paranoia about the Russia inquiry as unrelenting, at times paralyzing the West Wing for entire days. Learning of the appointment of Mueller in, uh, in May uh, 2017, Trump groused, everybody's trying to get me, part of the venting period that shell-shocked shell aides compared to Richard Nixon's final days as president. You, hear, you know about those, where Nixon was going around talking to the paintings of the presidents. Um, it, and one of the things that he said here, which, was, which is stated in this article, is the fact that he ordered uh, to have the, the prime minister, president of Syria, Assange, Assange, uh, 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 to have him uh, executed, assassinated. Yeah, yeah. He called for an assassination. Of, uh, and he said, because I can't have these kids being killed anymore and we've got to assassinate him. Uh, and he told uh, uh, Mad Dog Mattis, go out and kill him. And Mattis said, he said, okay, got your orders. And then he told his people, don't do a damn thing. In other words, this man is now thinking that as president of the United States, he can have people assassinated. I mean, that's what's going through his just paralytic mind. Anyway, they call the whole affair crazy town. And uh, um, uh, at a National Security Council meeting in January 19th, Trump disregarded the significance of the massive U.S. military presence in the Korean Peninsula, including a special intelligence operation that allows the United States to detect a North Korean missile launch in seven seconds versus 15 minutes from Alaska. According to Woodward, Trump questioned why the government was spending resources in the region at all. He also, uh, another thing, somebody brought up uh, 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 McCain. This was before McCain died, of course. And he said, well, I don't like him. I don't like him because he's a coward. And they said, well, why is he a coward? And he said, because when he was offered the chance to go home uh, by the, Kore by the, uh, the North Vietnamese, he took him up on it. And somebody had to correct him. That in fact, he hadn't taken him up. He didn't know that. Man's an idiot. And now the idiot is going one step further. Uh, Donald Trump has harsh words for NBC today going after the network as it struggles to defend itself over its handling of the Harvey Weinstein story. In a tweet this morning, which I'll read you in a second, Trump said the network is fumbling around making excuses for their probably high unethical conduct. He attacked NBC's journalistic standards, saying they're the worst than even CNN, and hinted at the possibility of taking a look at NBC's broadcast license. All right? Here's what he said. NBC fake news, which is under intense scrutiny over the killing, uh, 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 over killing the Harvey Weinstein story, is now fumbling around making excuses for their probably high unethical conduct. I have long criticized NBC and their journalistic standards worse than even CNN. Look at their license. Well, first of all, I, and I may be wrong on this, but I don't think so. I've been in broadcasting for years, and it was always my, uh, my feeling and my understanding that the networks weren't licensed by the FCC. 
The reason they adhere to FCC rules and regulations is because their programming went out to broadcast stations who, if they then did something wrong, could all be fined or whatever. Uh, and But the networks themselves, I don't believe, have a license. And for him to say, let's pull their license or let's look at their license, they don't, I don't, the networks themselves, I believe, do not have a license. Neither do the news networks like MSNBC, CNN, and so on. Secondly, it wasn't, you know, it was, it was, you know, it was NBC, but it was, uh, Ronan Farrell was assigned to MSNBC. The story, they say, according to Andy Lack, who is the, uh, he's going out, I believe he was just recently getting to be shown the door over there at NBC. But Andy Lack said um, uh, that they had vetted the story through some of the best journalistic minds they have at NBC, and they all agreed that Ronan Farrow didn't yet have the sources to make these allegations, and that they, he needed to come up with the sources, and he didn't have them. And then they say that Farrow said, well, can I take the story elsewhere? And they said yes, and he went to the New Yorker, and that's where the story was released. But they didn't tell him, no, it's our property, you can't do anything about it, or whatever. Uh, and, and so the arguments are going back and forth like crazy. But the fact is that there was nothing unethical that went on there. Nobody, I think, was trying to protect Weinstein, although Weinstein knew that Farrell was working on the story, and he had his lawyers constantly calling NBC and telling NBC, that uh, he shouldn't, uh, that they better not do that or they're going to be in legal trouble. And according to Andy Lack, none of that phased them. They made their decision based on st strict journalistic uh, ethics and that he did not have, uh, the, they, he, he couldn't vet the story because they were all what, what, what were referred to as, uh, you know, um, undisclosed sources. All right, and he said, they said in a situation like that, we can't do it. Now, you know, if, if somebody, right now, for instance, uh, the president's jumping back at Woodward, and all his people are jumping back at Woodward saying, fake news, fake news, uh, he's, not, he's, you know, not reporting the story or whatever. Uh, it's okay in the Weinstein thing to, to, to uh, tell the whole story, but in your case, it's not. Mr. President, you know. So what's not good for the goose is not necessarily good for the so-called gander. Anyway, that's, uh, I managed to kill time here. So now let's go to our phones. So we open them up, the Skype lines. And I hope that people will call and we can uh, talk about various issues and things like that. I want to show you what Skype does. Uh, no, I guess you can't see it because it, it wouldn't show up here. No, it won't show up. They've got this thing that says, ready to install, latest version of Skype, ready to install. It won't take long to upgrade. They want me to go to that piece of shit that they've got, which I've tried, and it is just a piece of crap, uh, the new Skype. Uh, so I, I'm, you know, anyway. Oh, God. Let's see. Hour and a half I get to go to sleep, or... I don't get to go to sleep. I have to wait for the intersection to be over with. But at least I can go rest. I can watch some TV. So I'm waiting for people to call now. And uh, there, here comes Phil Meyer. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me see. There we go. There we go. Uh, yeah. Hello there, Philip. Hey, how you doing? I... Um uh, for, first of all, I, I like that earlier promo you did with uh, Jason and I. And uh, the other thing is, uh, so you, your computers work? Oh, yeah, yeah, it works now. It didn't all when right. I first brought it back, and then I had to go back down and get another display cable because the one I had blew. What? How how could you blow the cable? For the uh, for the video, I mean, isn't that an HDMI cable? No, the HDMI didn't blow. It was a there's a 
you have Thunder, what they call Thunderbolt. Oh, so, oh, so you're using an and, adapter. And it was an adapter, and it was an adapter with a whole bunch of different outlets on it, and I guess it had some electronics in it rather than being yeah, just like, a straight adapter. That's the one I, I finally went down and bought because I took the one here and unhooked it and plugged it in there, and all of a sudden yeah. my displays worked. Yeah, it's similar to the, this one is a, um, a fire wire to uh, uh, Thunderbolt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, so I, uh, yeah, so I was, uh, you know, very happy with that. By the way, I got your control board. Oh yeah, yeah. Just right. arrived tonight, just just before I went on the air. So I, I have. You probably got to clean the pots, uh, and you got to do something uh, for the. Uh, well, you don't have to do something for the electrical thing, but it, it was never right. You what know, was never right? Uh, the plug in the back of the uh, of the unit. Mm. Uh, I bought it used, and it was like that when I got it. Was it was one of those four prongs, or three prongs, yeah, rather. Three, three prongs. prongs. Yeah, I have yeah. A, lot, a lot of those cables here. Well, it's not the cable; it's the uh, female part that is in the unit. Oh, and so what happens? Uh, I put tape on it, <laughs> but uh, it, it it moves. It, it nothing happens. It's fine. It's just, it doesn't affect the function, but uh, you know. And listen, I don't if like it doesn't like if it doesn't work, you know, the only person well, that it, spent it, money on this was you shipping it. Yeah, <laughs> those bastards. Yeah, well, I'm glad you got it. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Scott. Hello, Alex. Hey, yeah. Phil. Hey. Uh, yeah. So I know I got the uh, got the, the the Mac Mini. They fixed it in like. I mean, it was a. If it hadn't been a three-day weekend, it would have been like two or three days. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I I just don't understand how you blew it up. There, there was either something wrong with the plug in the wall. Uh, there was something wrong with the. I think it was something wrong with the. Uh, with the. Uh, electrical, outlet. For that. oh the uh, the uh, multi multi outlet that you have yeah I, and I think I blew it I think I, no, that's not it I think I think I blew it when I uh, when I took the um, well, what do you call it the uh, uh, plug the the surge protector off of it yeah. just put it directly into the plug and then everything started sparking and yeah, that was but, a plug that was put in by some people that the so called landlord had do electrical in this apartment for us because I wanted now, plugs how, everywhere because I need plugs. Had you tested that outlet with anything else like uh, a tester or uh, no, it was to fine. make sure that it's not a short? I should have known there? there was something wrong when I plugged it in to that, to the surge protector and the surge protector cut out. That didn't kill the machine. It was only when I pulled the surge protector out and plugged it into the uh, oh. <laughs> that the spark. You got two engineers there going like this. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, yeah. that's what the surge protector is for. <laughs> yeah, but you know, I don't know what the problem was, but anyway, it it also blew a monitor, but I didn't. Oh, so the monitor didn't cost me money. Uh, because no. it was Costco, so I just took it back and said, "Yeah, this thing stopped working." Uh, okay. okay, and then they didn't have another one, so I ordered one online. You know, yeah. and, and, uh, and that was it. You need, to, you need to put something in front of that outlet so you don't use it again. You need to find out why it's shorting. Well, Boxes. all the other stuff that's plugged in there works just fine. Uh, something's got to be wrong. You it, blown it had to have touched something, there? huh? You blown up three. Items in there, a no, monitor, no, no. The, well, a surge protector, and a, and a computer. Yeah, <laughs> and you're still using it. Keep no, going. surge protector wor still works. Uh, you see, yeah. it, I pulled it, it when I put it in the surge protector. The surge protector cut out. So I thought, oh, there's something wrong with the surge protector. I'll just plug it directly into the wall. There's something wrong with the goddamn. There's a there's a loose wire inside the wall on the plug. Yep, that's what it's got to be. Yeah, and it, and it's shorting. Uh, it shorted out so yeah. that when you moved it, yeah. it, it touched. So there's probably missing insulation or something like that, and that could be a fire hazard. Uh, so I, I would have rats. the stoop. Hmm? You might have rats in your walls. Well, that's true too. Well, I know he's got rats on the. On the, on it, the I'm uh, just not show. putting anything more <laughs> into that plug. Although I have other stuff in there and it's working just fine, so I don't. I'm not worried about it. You know. Die. We don't care. Huh? 
I said, die. We don't care. Well, of course. Burn the place down. Your neighbors <laughs> might be pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Gee, nobody's watching the show tonight. We're going to have guests. Huh? Yeah. Hey, we got to we gotta postpone the show. Uh, I I just got the documents. I, you know, I, I can't, I can't talk without the documents. <laughs> What's funny about that? I, uh, you know, For they got the documents you. the same time that the Republicans got the documents. They didn't they, know. They, it was on disc. They can comb through no, that no, stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on a second. That's that's not the main thing they're griping about. Yeah, this was stuff. That, this was this was stuff. To, the to begin thing. with, they were dropped. They uh, they dropped them forty thousand pages last night. Okay. Yeah. And they, you know, didn't have time to look them over. That's for starters. The other part of this is, is that there's a whole body of records, something like a hundred thousand, maybe a million pages, something like that, of stuff concerning this guy when he was with Bush, right. or, or excuse me, was it Bush or was it, yeah, Bush, Bush. Was Bush. yeah, uh, and and uh, it, under executive privilege, Trump is not going to let them be released. No, he hasn't invoked executive Oh, yes, privilege. he has. Yeah, he did. When? And it's not even his privilege. It's no, Bush's privilege. I it? understand. No, it's his. But uh, I, I, they were saying that he, he will not, not let invoked. it. He will not let it be released. It was Bush I, that did. I don't. I don't it, was it was Bush him. that did it. Yeah. Yeah. And not Bush that did it. Was it was, uh, it was uh, Trump. Trump that did it. Trump did it, but it's Bush's privilege to invoke. No. No, he's no longer the president. And he can't invoke executive privilege. Well, Trump wasn't there then. And and, and what they're he saying is, if, if if he's if he's doing this, there's got to be a reason. There's got to be something in there that. It's all you where there's smoke, there's fire, guys. Maybe maybe there was just stuff that was sensitive, that had to be redacted. No. Yeah. Well, then you then you go through the process of redacting it, and you do what's right, and you give yeah. this committee the full information it needs in order to make a decision. No, uh, this committee is do is is only trying to obstruct and delay, and that's exactly what they're trying. Oh, they're to trying do. to obstruct this, and delay. Maybe they're trying to maybe they're trying investigate. to investigate investigate and but find was, out more good about enough this guy for Sotomayor and Kagan that they used their uh, their decisions. Uh, as justices, but uh, when it comes to this guy, and he has 308 uh, decisions, and uh, that because uh, there was also there was also some that is you know up. what they're worried about, Phil? They're worried that this guy is going to have an agenda. And the reason, wait a minute, why they believe this guy is going to have an agenda is because the president said he wasn't going to nominate anybody who wouldn't do away with Roe versus Wade, and he wasn't going to nominate anybody who wasn't for gun rights, and. We know that he wasn't going to nominate somebody who, if he gets uh, into big legal trouble, isn't going to like let him off the hook. Right. I, I like this guy, then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there's a lot to worry about with this guy. I think you get a lot of people, conservative and, and everything else, who have a much better track record than this guy. Trump could have nominated, who was the guy that Obama wanted? Uh, it started with an M, I uh, think. Merrick Garland. Merrick. Uh, uh, Trump could have nominated Merrick, Merrick and the Garland. Democrats would Merrick have done Garland. the same. Merrick Garland, right. Uh, Merrick Garland or something like that. Uh, and the Democrats would have done the same thing. Absolutely. No, I this think is, I, I, this is just, I, I think Merrick Garland was a, was a perfect choice because uh, he wasn't a, a, a lefty at all. He was a, con, actually middle of the road. Middle of the road, maybe a little bit to the right, you know. Uh, and and would have been a a, a good choice actually. Um, well, he's he's not on the list, right? The twenty five. Uh, well, well, he uh, wasn't. Justices. No, but I mean, he wasn't even given given a shot when he was, you know, when he was up for it. Uh, yeah. Now the today was a meet and greet. Uh, basically, uh, I don't think that um, Kavanaugh got to say too much. Uh, uh, just, uh, you know, this is my family, this is this, this is that. There wasn't a lot going on. And I believe that there wasn't be a lot a going on. Did you hear what was going on in that room? I, I understand, but that was going on by protesters and by obstructionists. But what why, the deal why is, is it when people are trying to stand up for rights, when people are trying to stand up 
for being able to go through a decent process of vetting a person who's going to be on the Supreme Court for the rest of your natural life that they to... don't that they don't that all of a sudden they're obstructionists because they'd like to have be armed with all the facts they will be there's going to be almost a week between today and the next grilling of uh, of um, no, uh, the next, Kavanaugh. No, the next Kavanaugh meeting is tomorrow. Uh, I think that that's people speaking for and people speaking against. But when the uh, a, senators they, they listed are a whole bunch get, of things and they go on through Saturday, Sunday. Right. Maybe. The senators are going to have several days before they start grilling a Kavanaugh. And so, therefore, they're going to have all the time in the world that they need to review those 42,000 documents. Okay, you want and to start reading them? Let's see if you get to them by next Thursday. Hey, I don't even read the newspaper anymore. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I read everything on the phone. What do you think, Jeff? Let Jeff talk. Sure. I think there's a lot of documents. And a lot of it is important because the guy worked for Bush at the time. And the fact that it was not given in a reasonable timeliness means that there's something stinky about it. And that's probably true. And the question is, how stinky is it? That, that's what I, I'd like to find out. And I, as far as the process, it's, the Democrats are not going to get to throw the guy out anyway. Nah. No. No. Uh, but, but we may find out that he's not the guy that, we, that you would even like. You know, uh, most of the uh, the saber rattling is being done by people that are seeking higher office mm -hmm. uh, and uh, want to make a name for themselves. This is a photo op, and they know uh, that the guy's a good guy. Uh, the documents the guy's that a good, the guy's a good guy. I looked at him and I thought he was one of the creepiest people I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, he came up from nothing. He really, he really did everything on his own. And, you know, you like Kennedy, right? Well, he was Kennedy's, um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, Did I like Kennedy? Assistant. What makes you yeah. think I like Kennedy? Well, he was that, he was more of a swing vote kind of. He was a, a swing vote, know. but basically some of the, some of the rulings he made were some of the biggest asshole rulings of all time. Well, yeah, so maybe. So don't say, don't say I liked Kennedy. He, even uh, Lindsey Graham came out against Citizens United today. You know, uh, saying that, hey, if they wanted to overturn that, you wouldn't be so unhappy. But I think they uh, ought to overturn Roe versus Wade. And I think that they ought to uh, uphold well, really? the Why should Really? Why should they? Why shouldn't they? they uh, well, what do you mean, why should they? No, wait a minute. Don't, ask, ask, don't answer a question with asking a question. And the I, I'm going to answer. Our Constitution guarantees life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And when you take away the life of the fetus... Uh, you, the fetus you, doesn't you, have any fucking rights, Phil. That fetus, well, that's, that's fetus, that's that fetus has a one in four chance of even making it out of the womb. That's the question, especially. And then when he makes it out of the womb, he's taking up a parking spot. Yes, well, that that's my I agree with that. But uh, no, no, have you ever been no, pregnant? Have I ever been pregnant? Yeah. What? what, what, what who's got a uh, audio playing? In Somebody's the got some audio. Oh, that's me. Uh, uh, I thought I had it muted. Uh, I I um, actually went through uh, I went through this. You know, when I was young and single, uh, I paid for many abortions, and many, many, many. I don't understand why. You know, uh, I didn't think I was that fertile. But uh, after after I had my first child, uh, I had one child that uh, at six months uh, we lost because. Uh, of a miscarriage, mm -hmm. and then uh, and there was some genetic issue, and then uh, well, then you I didn't had, have a child, but you, you, you there was a miscarriage. You were supposed to have a yeah, child, but there was right. a miscarriage. You don't say correct you, at six months into the pregnancy, mm -hmm. and then uh, and it was never alive, uh, and then uh, we we had a child. Well, then the two of you would have gotten along great because neither are you. Yeah, really. And then uh, my second child uh, almost. Uh, 
almost went to the uh, abortion clinic. And what happened was they were protesting. And uh, my ex said, uh, I'll go back another day. And then, you know, we looked at each other and we said, uh, all right, let's, you know, let's have her. And, uh, and, it, and there was this life. Now, of course, she doesn't talk to me and she hates my guts, but I love her anyway. And she wouldn't be here if, she, if uh, Susan had crossed the picket line. And, uh, well, well, but you're, you know, you're, but it's, it's a real, I, life. I, I love when people say, you know, but I decided to have the kid and not, a, what would have happened if I had had an abortion? For the, you would have never known what the kid was up was. I understand, who, but that's ignorance is not bliss. No, it, it, Phil, you've got to ask when life begins, you know? I, I, well, I, you know, that's the question. I am, I am, does it begin? Does it begin at conception, or does it begin? If you want to make birth? an argument for the last trimester, I might agree with you. Okay, but you know, that, they they are not a sentient being in those er, in those first six months. Uh, <coughs> how do you know? Because I know I've read books about science. I know what yeah, a fetus does, is. Why don't you read feel, about it, Phil? Does it feel pain? Does it? <laughs> does it have a heartbeat? No, it has yeah. a heartbeat, but it doesn't feel pain. And 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 but there's more than that. There's the potential of life, the potential of life that you're taking. Well, then away. then you better never use a condom, and you you know, because you you don't want to you know get that whole Catholic thing going. <laughs> well, you know. Excuse I, me, I, I, excuse I, me, know. Scott. I didn't mean that in any pejorative sense. No, but. that's okay. I just heard. I just I was looking at something else. And I heard you mention something. But Scott is no. Catholic after all. <sighs> The Catholic Church has never been wrong in the past, you know, right? No, never. Uh, never. Never. <laughs> never been wrong oh, about uh, anything, right? Well, that's because they, they use the choir boys, and uh, they don't have to worry about getting pregnant. Yeah, Ask yeah. Galileo. Yes, Jeff. There's four guys here talking about something, and all four of us can never have a baby. But we've all had oh. babies. How, how many kids do you have? I understand. Renee, you. you're out there. Give us a call. You got to join it's this. Not women. It doesn't matter. It does. You know, it does it matter. Does. But I, I have, I have, a, I have two daughters, and you know, one of them might not have been here if we crossed the picket line. And uh, and you, you wouldn't know. know. You wouldn't be able to do anything. You wouldn't be sitting here and telling us about the daughter you had that you were thinking of aborting. That's correct. And so, you, and you wouldn't have gotten it but more, I, and she wouldn't have grown about, up and all of that. All, wait a minute. Wait somebody, minute somebody, somebody's got to take back here. Hey, man. Hey, man. Oh, wait a minute. Are you there, Jack? Not me this time. Yeah. I'm right here, and, and, okay. and there's right. no, and, and there's no uh, slap back from my end of the thing. Okay, uh, he was there. What? Well, not, maybe not yours. But. Oh. Now, I'm going to try not to yell at Phil, because... Hey, I'm going to be kinder and gentler with you. It's a new month. Yeah. It's a new month. Yeah, it's a pisses me off. He's got it coming. Uh, Phil's argument about all of this is a very interesting argument. And as Scott will tell you, even in Orthodox Catholicism, they do not put any uh, sanctions concerning a uh, natural abortion that is a miscarriage. They don't christen it. They don't give it a name. They say it happened. Is that right? Yeah. That I, oh, I, I don't mean, know. Uh, about I know that if a baby is stillborn, like you know, something happens during birth, they will they will, uh, you know, sometimes bury it and give it a name and stuff. But I don't know about if it happens, you know. In they the... they asked us if that's what we wanted to do, and I said no. You know, I, uh, I you know, when when we had the miscarriage at six months. But the thing I wanted to really point out to uh, Phil. You conservatives are all concerned about the life of the fetus, but you don't give a damn about the child once it's born. You walk away. I don't know that that's true. You know, I, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at it from my own perspective, not from the conservative perspective. All right. Well, I want you I'm to not speaking for conservatives. All right. Now, now frankly, 
frankly, I wished, I wish that no one has to make that choice. No one. Uh, my sister-in-law from my first marriage, she was a counselor at a women's center. And she told me a very interesting thing. She'd see pro-lifers out there marching on the picket lines Monday through Friday. On Saturdays, they when were coming the, in for abortions, they were coming in either for <laughs> abortions for themselves or for their daughters. And here's and here is the little messy thing that nobody wants to point out. Whether you say you are pro-life, whether you say you are pro-choice, don't mean a hill of beans, because it will not end abortion in this country. What will happen is wealthy women or women of some means. Mm -hmm. will travel to wherever they can have it done if they want it done. Poor girls will wind up on kitchen tables. So, yeah, so isn't, uh, you know, uh, a government-paid abortions just a way of keeping the poor down? Um, who has government-paid abortions? And not having the kid would be less of a drain on your pocketbook than having, being forced, excuse me, being forced forced to have a child well you know they got the government doesn't have to pay for abortions because they they sell right. the fetuses so you, at those yeah. clinics for stem cells yeah you know and how is that working for you all of you um republicans during the bush administration that kicked out the entire no, embryonic that, not stem all of them cell science not all of them United States, how is that working for you? Because see, when you, when you, you how people go to the hospital, I would like you people to stand up there and say, I voted for the scientists to leave America, so I don't want any embryonic stem cell medicine at all, whether it can Bush. save my life or not. That I don't Bush. want any because but see, I, I don't you, believe in it. Renee, if if I could, uh, I have a I have a customer who's a medical doctor, and she does stem cell. Uh, injections for like uh, joints, for your knee, for the torn meniscus. Oh, you mean that... science has won you over now? Well, no, I you know I hurt, the Bush so I'm ready. I'm ready to get the bitch. injection. Yeah, <laughs> right. Okay, so you're more. I, I never, I never supported uh, not having stem cell research. Okay, so uh, no, uh, we're talking about embryonic stem cell research. So the drugs. Well, where, do you, these... where do you get the stuff from if you don't get it from the embryo? Lots of places. The yeah, umbilical what? cord, I believe, is a... Right, and... A, and, and maybe, I don't even know, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, but yeah, you that, know what? Let's that's go true. back to the abortion thing real quick here. Um, the issue is, and, and this is exactly what Jack was trying to explain to you, there are 15 to 20... Oh, I have to go back and look. There are states here in the United States that if you can get to a clinic and you can stay overnight and you've got somebody to watch you, you can get an abortion. Now, for somebody who's on minimum wage, that's like not even possible. So basically in those states, you are forcing those little girls to have a child that they're not ready for. Then let's talk about the SNAP program and let's talk about California First Five. Can I ask when you a question? Forcing, no, not yet. When you're enforcing when you're forcing these little girls to have those babies, we know that if we don't get her vitamins, folic acid vitamins, that that baby will be deformed. Are you paying any, is there any state out there paying for folic acid vitamins for these women? Nah. Okay, so once the child is born, other than probably about five states, you don't get the uh, uh, immunization, you don't get the checkup, you don't get any of, the sh any of the rest of the things that you need, whether it's shots or not, because people like, because pe Republicans want, want to force you to have the child, but they don't want to make that child whole before it gets to be five. Do these clinics have a, you worked in a clinic, right? I worked outside. No, they don't let people oh. like me in the clinic. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, do the clinics have a sliding scale for income? It, oh, are we talking about medical for, treatment or are we talking about abortion? Both. Okay. So first off, during the Bush administration, uh, the- no, This is a simple yes or no. Do they have a sliding scale? For medical, yes. 
Meaning that if you're a guy who thinks that they have an STD and you don't have anywhere else to go and you've got no money or you're a waitress or a waiter or whatever it is, you can go into Planned Parenthood, get tested, they'll ask you how much you make and then they'll tell you how much you have to pay them for they, the medication. Do they do the same thing for abortion? It doesn't really matter because that money is private money. I understand, but I'm just asking, does that clinic or clinics, uh, the, uh, you know, what do they call them? Uh, uh, Planned you know, Parenthood. The, Planned Parenthood. Do they have a sliding scale for abortion? So if you're a poor person and you can't afford the abortion but you want it, will they do it for a reduced price? I do not. Whether it's private or public money, it doesn't matter. I don't know. And, right. and during the Bush administration, you, the Republicans made it very clear that they didn't want any government money going for abortions. So all of the 3% of the funding that goes for abortion is all funded like from people like me. None, no government. So when they bring that drumbeat back up again, when they say we don't want, uh, I don't want to be paying for people's abortions, just look at them and say, you don't. We, now, we why, why, does, why does Trump feel that it should go to the states? And what is the difference if it goes? I know some states Majority are going to vote state. against it. I, but no, no, no. It's a federal thing that it's uh, Roe it, versus Wade. a federal Wade. thing that was never allowed to be rolled out completely in all 50 states. There are more how than... Can you, how can you have that? You're the one who did it? You fucking well, I didn't do up. anything. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Fact, Jack, if Jack has, wants to have an abortion, Jack, I say Jack, let him go. Jack I'm has talking his, about Jack, me. What's Jack has his finger up. Yeah. Roe versus Wade, and I had a chance to meet the Roe in Roe versus Wade. Who later, Roe, on, who later on said she was against it. Who later on said she was against it. She found God. Uh, the decision only states that the government cannot interfere with a woman who wants to have this procedure and then so. comes that that's all the federal law is then you put the state's interpretation in it and states like mississippi and ohio and and alabama and oklahoma and a few others have different interpretations of that and including the state of texas has a really shitty law as well so why you guys say, oh, Roe versus Wade is, is all across the country, it's not because each state has clamped down on the availability of abortions. And, and it's ridiculous because you, it's exactly what Jack said, because Republicans refuse to help pay for those folic acid vitamins. You guys are, won't buy the multivitamin. Yeah, you. Yeah, All no, right. see, look, if you're going to force us to have them, you better give us the vitamins that make that child whole. I think, and we I, know I, that pregnant women have to have folic acid. That means you're going to give it to them It's not an expensive free. vitamin. No, it's but not. Why should you have to pay it all? You're forcing because you let some guy stick his dick in you. Right, and, because that's uh, how it works with rape. Yeah, well, yeah. not everybody got raped that has an abortion. Yeah. True, but, you know, I mean, like, a rape happens every six seconds, in, or is it, it's either six seconds or six minutes, I have to look it up, in the United States. And, and look, this is really a, a non-issue issue, and here's why. It, this the was going to be the abortions in this country has been falling since Roe versus Wade. No, 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 no. Um, the abortion rate in the United States only falls when the, the Americans in the United States don't teach abstinent only. So during the Obama administration, the abortion rate plummeted because we were educating everyone. We were educating the young boys, we were educating the young girls. That education took hold. We have a very low rate. Now what the Republicans are gonna come in here and say, you know what, abstinence only, and I'm gonna say, Sarah Palin's little bitch, Bristol Palin, is a perfect fucking bitch for abstinence only. She's, She's kinda hot. Bitch. I think I like Sarah Palin's daughter. I, but, so Bristol Palin. I'd bang her. It's amazing. In the middle of this this impassioned speech by by Renee, you're going. You know she's hot. I'd fuck her. I'd fuck her. And she is. So that's why she keeps getting knocked up. 
spoke you about the truth. Know, that's not why she keeps Sp- getting knocked up. Sp- she can have pl- Trump supporter. She didn't. She doesn't get knocked. She doesn't get pregnant because she's doing. A, uh, she doesn't get pregnant because she's having sex. She gets pregnant because she's having sex wrong. She's getting pregnant because her mother told her not to put a condom on it. She's getting pregnant because her mother told her birth control pills are wrong. How do you know that? <laughs> well, well, obviously, it, it, obviously, one of those scenarios is the is the is the, is the correct scenario since she on. keeps getting pregnant. She's getting pregnant because she she's fucking everybody that uh, wants no, no, to. No, no, but you can be on you can me. be on birth control pills. You can be, you can ask the guy to use a condom. Come on, she doesn't have to get pregnant. Abstinence only does not work. Uh, and during the Obama administration, it was proven because we had far less abortions because we chose the high road, which was educating all no, younger Americans. You had less abortions because paid. welfare paid for all the extra kids. No, no, that's bull. No, you just, had, now you're just you had less you because off. of birth control. Uh, by the way, we've been joined by Tim. Hello, Tim. Tim? Tim will tell us about the space aliens getting all these kids knocked up. Yeah, well, now well, I, I, he's there, but he's not there. Tim? Uh, 989, I don't think that's Tim. Uh, okay, so yeah, can yeah. I make a oh, statement? I have, I have it muted, I'm sorry. Oh. I pushed the oh, wrong button. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah I, I can tell you why they want the states to have control over uh, women's bodies because the white men it's, won't let them it's much cheaper to control the state legislatures than it is the congressman and it's a lot less out in the open because who oh, no, that's how the republicans took over and did the gerrymandering taken over at the local level so i would like to so you know how we bounce around all the time about states right states or maybe it's just renee bouncing around about states right states right but one of the things we were talking about a while ago was this horrific um, Catholic report that came out of Pennsylvania. And one of the things that I heard the announcer say was, since the law, what is that restriction of time? What's it called? Uh, statute of limitations. limitations. Since the statute of limitations had expired on all of these cases, he was putting out the presses of why why can't we roll it back in this situation? And I'm sitting here thinking, no, let's roll it back for every child that gets raped or sodomized by a pedophile that there is no statute of limitations. Governor Brown Governor Brown was talking about uh, rolling it back in California, the statute of limitations. And, it's uh, and so, similar to murder, you know, where there is no statute of limitations, they were thinking about uh, doing that. I, I don't know. I don't think it was signed in the law or, or anything like no, that. No, but, but it, as we talked about... He was just about, talking about it. Right. States' rights. I don't know any child that I want... So all you parents that took your kids to Catholic Church Sunday... Mm, um, I wait, don't wait, hold on. Any, Scott's Catholic. But go go gentle into that sweet night. Child <laughs> I like yeah. Catholic. I like Catholic schoolgirls. You ever see those uniforms? That was the cute... misogynistic part. <laughs> so I, I, I want shooting right now. Turn your mic off. I, I don't think that any child that has been molested by anyone, whether it's a Catholic priest or not, should have to worry about this. And I, I think agree. this thing should go uh, so to go to a federal law and to be left alone. And no state gets to change this, but that's not how it's set up. The only problem with uh, no statute of limitations on the rapes and things like that is that we're finding out that a lot of things that were consensual at the time are becoming non-consensual as uh, as time has passed. Uh, Weinstein, uh, Weinstein, for for example. Uh, it wasn't consensual the first time. You guys just didn't listen well, to us according, when you said stop raping us and stop fucking no, us. Uh, uh, according to the uh, Argento emails, uh, it sounded more uh, more uh, 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 agreeable than... Uh, well, that wasn't it's Argento. Like said, she said. That was not Argento. No, they're Arge- trying to make it... Wait, 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 hold on a I can't remember. It was some woman. It was, that they it was were, the other uh, main one that was... Uh, well, uh, oh. Asia was with the with the actor, he a uh, young child. Oh, actor. the the boy. Okay. Yeah, and uh, he, according to her, she, she he attacked her. 
and she kind of went went along with it in the end. And he says it the other way because there's money involved. It, you don't know who to believe, and that's sad. Uh, I think there's probably yeah, a little what, bit if, if, if Tim, Tim, who he was trying to remember was there was a woman. That Weinstein has produced these the first, uh, these the first, emails uh, from this one oh, woman. Oh, okay. I'm one, sorry. One, sorry. Yeah, one woman has, has come that direction. But I have to ask, why? Why has it taken this many women for you to listen to us that this man is a misogynistic asshole and he doesn't Wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Hold on a second, Renee. Renee, I knew about it long before you probably even knew about it. It was a given in Hollywood. Okay. That it makes it better how? No, I'm just saying. I'm just saying there were a lot of us who knew about it and a lot of us who were upset by it. And right. upset by and what by he did. By the way, when you say you don't like, you don't really like. Is there something but the, about? But the Rose reputation, McCallan believe it or not, like? oh, uh, that, Renee. That the hold on a second, Phil. Renee, the reputation that Weinstein had in Hollywood at that time, and for the for years, was such that any woman who would go to his room knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Now, really, because we, we share that kind of information, right? Well, well everybody knew it. People would say it, to it, other people, don't go to his room, he's going to come on to you. They, they, it, boils it, down, it boils down to one word. Power. Power. Yeah. power. Well, power. there was power, but there were also, need I use the term? I'll tell you, I learned a term years ago. Uh, Nicholas, what was his name? He was on 60 Minutes. He did point, counterpoint. Uh, oh. And Nicholas, uh, but anyway, I was interviewing him, and uh, and off the air, he told me he said there are you know there are groupies in in Washington, and I said, uh, oh really? He says you know what we call them? He said what? Power fuckers. Yep. Yeah. You know, and what's that was you know? General uh, Petraeus. No, what? No, I think General, he was in love the, with the gal. No, no, that that woman was a power fucker. Yeah. General she Petraeus was a woman. journalist, and uh, I think they were having and a power film. fucker. Yeah. Well, look, oh. uh, but well, but, look, but the point the point, uh, point I'm making is uh, is that in the case of Weinstein, yeah, what he did was disgusting. It was vile. But they knew what most of them what they were getting themselves into. It wasn't like they got there and when he came onto them or showed up naked or in his bathrobe, they weren't surprised. It wasn't like Cosby. It, it, is what you're saying. It, Cosby, yeah, he Cosby, didn't drug him. Cosby would drop drop something in your drink and then have his way with you, which is ridiculous when you think about it. Because this was fucking Bill Cosby, and when he was younger, he was a good-looking guy. He didn't need to yeah. drug a woman. What was it about drugging a woman that got him off? I'm just yeah. wondering. You know the the uh, environment. Wait a minute, Tim. The environment in the 70s and in the early 80s when uh, quaaludes were popular uh, was everybody was saying, you got a lewd, you got a lewd. Uh, and maybe he didn't drop them in there. I mean, no, uh, he was he was he was literally dropping them. He was literally okay. putting them in their yeah, drinks. But you know how big a quaalude is? You know, it's, well, he uh, wasn't you know, using seven, quaaludes. He was using roofies and everything else. It's about seven eighths of an inch. And if you diameter. dissolve it in liquid, you're not going to see it, Phil. Just like the 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 date rate drug right now, you can't smell that if somebody puts that in your in your drink. But you know what, Alex, I have a question you're for just, you. You're just yeah. named from my memoirs. The how date rate drug. A that's, a, that's my book. How big is a quaalude? How big is a quaalude? Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes Renee or, want, or a lemon. <laughs> Renee wanted to ask me a question. Yes, Renee. So, Alex, you told us the story. You told not the story. You told us all the information, or is a lot of information about your rape. Now, why didn't you go to the police to report it? Uh, because I was a guy. And what? I mean, I suppose I suppose if it was another guy, it was a guy raping me. I I would have, but if I had because it was a woman that did it. Hold on a second, Phil. Because it was a woman that did it, uh, I'd probably get laughed out of the police station. So. How is that different? Because, so you're not. You plus, don't think they're gonna plus, believe plus you. let me let me say this, okay? You don't think the they're going to believe you? The sense of violation by a guy being raped, so-called, by a woman, okay, is is not the same as a woman being raped by a guy. 
it, it, there's not the same violation because I don't I've often said true. that the difference the difference well, you could is have stopped it if you wanted to, right, it, Alex? It, it, he did. It, no, it was no, a middle, he couldn't it stop was the it. middle he, of the night. Yeah, Wait a minute, I did. No, it was he, the middle of the night. I woke up and she was blowing me and I told her I didn't want to have sex and that I was very depressed over breaking up with my girlfriend and everything like that. And I actually woke up, she was doing it, I started crying. You know, and I, and I asked her to stop, and after a while, she kind of believed me that I was actually saying, stop giving me a blowjob, which she had never heard before in her life, you know. Right. Uh, but so you, you feel that they, check? Would, they, wouldn't, they wouldn't have believed you if you went Well, they, they the might have believed me, but they wouldn't take it seriously, would they? Right. Well, uh, then uh, then Jack, would they take it seriously if I went to them there. on that and said, hey, this woman blew me when I didn't want her to blow me? You think that's criminal? It's still a violation. It, it's of your a violation, life. but the thing is that it's. I was going to say it's not the same violation as the violation of a woman, because oh. penetration uh, has a certain blunt yeah, force yeah. trauma to it that uh, blowjob doesn't. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Jack. Yes, Jack. So, I can see. I can see why women don't want, would want to report it too, because they're going to just sorry. go through crap for a year. Several years. It's the same thing about being black. I don't know about that now. So well, can, you report, right. can you report That's it if you true. Black? I'm sorry. Hey, That's correct. Uh, I'm bad. So uh, is being black reportable? No, but I'm short, and I know a little bit what it's like <laughs> being so short sorry. all your life. And if you really want to know what's bad, is be like Sammy Davis Jr., short, black, and a conversion. Jewish. Jewish. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, yeah. So, so I can't so imagine. Three strikes. And with one eye. Uh, society has this attitude that men are always sex to be believed. No. Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm that's sorry. You're the the men aggressors. Are, men are the aggressors. No, forget that. That men are always interested in having sex. Always. Haven't we booked this at every six, every six seconds, you guys, sex passes through your brain? No. Well, or is that, that you know, we, we do know that number. Just we, 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 just, know. we just say that to make the girls feel good. And, oh. and, and, and that six <laughs> seconds, Renee, we'd rather watch TV. We told you that, <laughs> Renee, just to give you an argument. <laughs> okay, Renee, thank you. That six true. seconds may just be looking at some woman and saying, hey, that's hot. And no more. Well, look, let, oh, me, let me bring okay. up something here. And I, I don't think we've ever talked about this before, but I think it's worth talking about. You know, they talked about prostitution as a business in which women were exploited. And my argument has always been, no, it's really the men who are exploited. If she's in charge of herself, mm -hmm. i.e., like, she doesn't have a John <clears throat> or, I mean, a pimp or anything like that, then I, it's a business transaction. Okay, okay, but I'm now, out. now what I'm saying to you is, isn't that a form of taking advantage of a man, of of uh, you know, of taking uh, advantage of his weakness and whatever? <sighs> ah, come on, Renee. So, but see, you just told me, and so I'm going to go by what Jack just said. We've always been told that you think about sex often, like, like. 70, well, that's one of the reasons a prostitute exists but, in so, this No, world. no, I think women think about sex just as much as men. Have you ever heard them in the locker room? You know, uh, no, I don't. I, 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 I don't think women think about sex as often. No, there's often. plenty of them that do. Not like guys. It's, it's yeah. not sex. In the it, city. The only thing they don't we think don't. about. But is, you know, I mean, uh, how much of no, this? No, 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 how, no, no. how much of the this? The only thing they don't think about is sex with us. But with the right guy, <laughs> they think about it all the time. <laughs> you know? Well, you know, in, men don't sit around and watch soap operas for hours on. Uh, 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 in, in the case of Harvey Weinstein, you know, uh, people people say how terrible it was, and of course it was terrible. Have you seen Harvey Weinstein? But if it was well, George one. Clooney, you okay, know, so let's talk. About if, if George Clooney patted some woman on the ass, she'd look around, see it was George Clooney, go, oh hi. Where's the closet? Can we go? Yes. Yeah. So, <laughs> wasn't a, a, bishop, a bishop had gotten in trouble at the funeral, right? 
Oh well, yeah. yeah, he was he very tall, and I don't think her. he did. Any, I don't think he. We broke all. I saw it. I saw it. it. What, what funeral? His hand is touching uh, her boob. Oh. It was, but he's like seven feet no, tall. No, I don't like give a fucking shit. Oh. He's what, not. You the... didn't see it. So did you guys not see the photo? So what is her name? Ariana, uh, Ariana, Ariana, Ariana Grande. Ariana Grande. Oh yeah, she's tiny. She's a tiny. I don't give a shit. She's yeah. like standing next to this bastard. She, who puts his arm around her and he shouldn't have done it in the first fucking place. And the photo is her standing back like this going, what the fuck do you think you're doing? And that was the look that. on her face. Did she say that? I, I didn't no, see she, that. that look did. See, I, I, I didn't, I, I didn't I hear like about this story. I didn't hear about this story, but, was, uh, you know, he has no business. Why did he touch her in the first place? Stop touching us and you won't get in trouble. Listen, yeah. uh, I I would say that guys are not touching at all anymore because of all of this. You know, well, I think guys are. I'm glad I'm not in the dating, dating pool anymore because I would be afraid of dating, for just fear of of all I have to do is have one woman accuse me of something that I didn't do, and I'm yeah, in but, trouble. I'm in trouble because nobody's going to believe me. Stop, no, stop sticking up for those people like no, this. No, I'm no. Look what I'm saying. You wouldn't have done it. Listen, I'm asking you this. If I, if some woman accused me of doing something that I absolutely didn't do, I know I didn't do it. There was no way I could have done it. Whatever. I didn't do it. Do you think that anybody would believe me when I said I didn't? Didn't. In this atmosphere, had, in this yeah, atmosphere, do you think had anybody? Two guys that that had that happen to him, didn't it? Where it came, where a woman accused him, and the guy came back and said, "Yo, yeah, no," and then everybody rallied around that man, and everybody's like, "Yep, yeah, okay, that's cool. We, he did not do it. We're gonna stand behind him, and that was it. We've had so when you say we're painting you with a wide brush, no, nope. and and stop. No, but but you but you but, but, but you're not answering my question, Renee. Uh, let's say I'm accused by a woman. She's completely baseless in what she's saying. But you don't yeah, know that be because you weren't there and most other so people were. Who are you going to believe first? Who are you going to believe first? Wait a minute. Who, who are you going to... I'm asking you the question. Who are you going to believe first? Her I want or me? I'm not a Republican. I want proof. What? Uh, you, 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 well, all I know yet. is that you, you most of these situations even the ones with Weinstein are alleged but they're not proven and yet you go let's string the guy up oh 70 I, I'm I'm a guessing after three women, well now you see you're taking a little liberties with it now, 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 you, it's now you're going nine. back on the fact that you want the facts I do. I would love to have those women destroy their entire career by getting in fr up in front of a jury and telling them everything that Harvey Weinstein did to them because it's their life that has to go through that instead of the, the man having to do it. Well, right, I'm, I'm looking at the picture. Uh, Ariana she's Grande? looking up at him. She, I don't think she's... Uh, Is this the uh, one where she looks as tall as him because she's got... No. Her no, no this is she's holding a microphone. No, the mic, the right arm is down, no. and uh, her, her arm shot. is around him, too. Look at the podium shot. Look it is at a podium the shot. podium shot. One Lord, one faith, one baptism is the podium, and uh, her arm is around his waist, his arm is around her waist, and he's considerably taller than she is. And this is an NBC. Uh, Hang on, uh, I gotta find it. NBCnews.com, yeah. and I I just put in uh, Ariana Grande uh, and the Bishop. And the Bishop. So you don't see the one where she's like taken back and staring at him. Yeah, she is. Kinda, she she kinda is. Back yeah, she is stepped back a little, but he's but, tall, and she st steps back to look she's, up at no, him. But, but no, no. Did you hear what he said? Yeah, go ahead, say it. Well, he he said he said there's another. Uh, he said something like, "I thought that was a, a something on the Taco Bell menu." 
Mm. Oh no no no! That was a, that was a joke about her name, and it, yeah. he was just he was being he facetious. He was saying that and while while she was that's walking. That's not facetious. Up there. That's racist. No, it's not. It I, is. She's he just called her Mexican. Grande. Dude. Yeah, you know. Listen, Phil. He was saying that when she was going up there. I thought it was a good joke. It's not. What do you want? Well, you, yeah, okay. you can take it both ways, really. Yeah, I think okay. you can. So you're looking at the photo where she's staring at him and his hand is placed on her boob. Yeah, but her arm yeah, is no, around no, his waist. No, her, her arm is, is around his, his waist. waist. His hand does not need to be on her boob. Ever. It's, Never. I don't, it was below her no boob. reason her for boobs, that. She's short, nope. he's tall. And, it, and nope. you know what? Her, nope. His hand was even with his elbow uh, based on his height and her height, so and I think that she was looking. Can't he find her? You know, I I saw the whole thing live, yeah. and when I saw him moving her towards the podium, and I saw the look on her face, I couldn't see what happened, but it looked like something happened. I don't know what it was, but she looked up there and went, "Holy shit!" <laughs> that, that that look, you guys need to understand I can what that see, look is. That I look see is, her. Boot. You must it was like all of a sudden she, yeah, is all of a sudden she was looking up there going like what what the hell is that so she can find his waist but when he finds her boob because and he couldn't fingers, possibly find her his waist. fingers are straight out they're no, not his curled fingers around are grabbing her boob no, no, okay. Okay. Yeah. well wait, wait a minute hold on a second they're not straight out for the, for the audience's edification hold on a second I'm just doing a little bit of work here. Here, so if she, can, he, if she can do the here, work and find okay. his ways, why the hell can't he find he, he, her Here's way? the alleged picture in case people want to look at it. Now, uh, uh, this see. is the one where she's looking at him, right? You're muted, Scott. Yeah. 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 We, we can't hear you yelling, Scott. You're yeah. muted. You should be able to see it coming up. <laughs> oh, there you are. There you are. Let's go with this. How would it like you like that to be your daughter? No, wait a minute. What, what's going on in this picture? Will you tell me? I can't see it. Uh, uh, it, uh, it'll be on in a couple of seconds. Uh, oh, okay. Let me see. So here. she's got. So she could find his ways, but 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 you guys are willing to. Okay. Some of you are willing to give her a pass because he found her boob instead of finding his her way. Is that the picture? Uh, Put it up, I don't Alex. see it. I can't see it. Oh, oh yeah, that's the picture. Okay. The picture. So what am I supposed look, to be seeing there? Look at his hand, and uh, look at the uh, look at the height of his elbow. Uh, and look at her arm. Her left arm is around his waist, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, she's looking at him. And we're, uh, Renee is saying the expression that she has is one of disdain. It and is. I'm saying that she's just looking up at him. No, and, uh, he's catching. No. He's catching some outside boob there. Yeah. I think oh, he's yeah. Catching uh, some outside his boob. Yeah, but his fingers too. are straight. His and fingers that, are straight. And, and yeah, that look but on her face, that look on her face, you should memorize that because that's what we look like when you do something stupid. No, that's, that's, I, a pan, that's a panic button there. I oh, see yeah. that. I see that look on on Scott's face all the time. No, I see that look <laughs> on my wife's face. <laughs> you got three girls. You know what that look means. That's the. Eh, eh, eh. That's the button. Am I left? Is this comic relief or what? No. no so oh, well, look at look at Clinton's face. Clinton Clinton is saying, "Hey, how come I'm like?" <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what Clinton's doing. Okay, Another I'm uh, I'm I'm enlarging. Oh, that, that, that's I'm, my I'm, territory I'm, right there. I'm enlarging Kim, the picture. Who was the first one? Kevin was the first one to buy Woodward's book. Woodward's book. Kevin was the only one of us who watched this thing live and and saw what was going on. I was more upset, really. Because I have a disdain for most ministers anyway. Uh, you know, the great uh, R.L. R. Mencken said every successful minister, every successful preacher. It was H.L. Mencken, by the way. Hmm? H.L. Mencken. Mencken, yeah. Uh, Mencken said every successful preacher has three women behind him. His mother, his wife, and a large-breasted choir directress. <laughs> so, Kevin, why don't you give us okay. your interpretation? Since you've got a 14 year old daughter right now, right? 13, yeah. 13. Wow. Why don't you give us your interpretation of this? Well, when I saw it and I saw the look on her face, I knew something was coming up. 
plain and simple. Because Red flag. she was, she was, you know, I, I, I kept looking at her singing, and she was doing fine. And then he came over, and he started doing the "Come on over, let's go over to the podium." But he was doing it in a, in a pretty, uh, I don't want to say aggressive, but a very, come on this way way. And then he was guiding the her aggressively, I would say. But then when it when it when it got Fuck to you. that point, For, this is a funeral. Fuck you! But then it when it got to that she's point, she, she's got you know her tutu look, is up to her tutu. Look, there's a father. Look, okay, here we go. Let's go over this again. He's Kevin is a man. He he looked at that and looked at the expression on the the woman's face and said. I'm going to take my cue from her. There's something here that's not right. All right. I'm, if it was I'm, my daughter, I would have gone up and smacked him. Thank you. I just, I just saw the video, and she was laughing. You know, if you stop a video no, at a no. certain point, she was it not may laughing. Make a person's... Not after that. Not after that. She was looking worried after that. Plus, the guy said some things that were very sexist in his. Yep. Uh, I'll tell you, she looked worried after she got up to the podium, and he was, it was almost like he, she was squeezing her. He was squeezing her. If you listen, I was going, whoa, this is like uh, the, the minister's getting away with some shit here, is the way you, I was thinking. If you listen to uh, his kept stuff. saying, oh, it's a Baptist, you know, maybe, uh, you know, uh, no, yeah. can't, can't go that route, can't go that route. If you listen to what he said in the oration that he gave, uh, you could sure tell that this guy was no friend of women. Did you did you hear the one that went on for 45 minutes about how women are bad and abortion is bad and having sex is bad? Was this you, at uh, Aretha Franklin's Yeah, it was, a, it was one yeah. of the other fucking Baptist oh, ministers. Jesus, they went on for eight hours for crying out loud. Well, the singing was good. They had to be good. getting tired. <laughs> The well, to let, you, to let you in on something about black worship services, one of the reasons why I'm a Unitarian is because black folk will stay at church all damn day. And they were. And you know what, Phil? It doesn't matter what she's wearing. If you pigs can't keep your hands off of us, go away. We're being joined by Richard Spencer. Are you there, Richard? Hello? Yeah. Hi, Richard. How you doing? Okay, you have a comment about this? I had a comment about that eulogy at the funeral. That was trash. Ooh. See, did you watch it? Yeah, I saw Did you see the, at the end of the eulogy of it? No. Was that yeah, the was, Ariana Grande thing or something else? Nah, that, that, was, that was like later on. So the other preacher you're talking about that just railed against women... And how yeah, the mother was talking about single moms yeah. that could yeah. yeah, yep, yep. That's the guy I'm talking about. Yep, that's uh, the one I was listening I'm, to. I'm looking at the picture now. If you look down under her arm, on the left hand side, folks, there's the hand. Now, yeah. is he touching breast or is he just? He's got yeah. It, and and if she can find his waist, there's no fucking reason why he should be not finding her waist. He did. He's much taller that's than she is. That's her boob, and that's an excuse. Yeah. Why do you keep giving these so-called men? I think I think once you're in the bra area and you can, once you're in the bra area and you can feel it, you got to move down, buddy. No, no, it's where the snap yeah, is. Yeah. You got to move down. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if it was, if it was his daughter, if it was uh, Phil's daughter. He would have jumped out of his seat, gone up there, jumped up to hit the guy, because he's shorter, and pounded on him for a while. Hey, you know, it wasn't like Janet Jackson showing boob. This was, you know, the guy... No, it wasn't like her. Janet Jackson had, showing boob. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. All Janet Jackson did was accidentally show boob. This is grabbing somebody. This is an Janet offense. Jackson's this is a, This is assault. This is... I don't think so. It would be a salt if he cupped us. if he cupped around the uh, the he tip. Did. You know, would it, like you know, like right. this. Oh, that's no. a salt. 
no, 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 no. Let's get this straight. If he had straight out me, fingers. And I am telling you not to. Hold up, he he didn't, she point. didn't say don't do this. Her arm oh. was around his waist. Hey, hold up a second. Phil, if somebody touched your schmeckle. <laughs> yeah. Just the side of it. Somebody just touched <laughs> your schmeckle. Your yeah. putts. Would that be assault or would they just have slipped? Could have been a slip. They could have brushed up against it. You know, and now if they put it in their mouth, that's a different story. But you uh, don't need to touch us when you're touching us and we're telling you to get your hands off. It, that's your answer. Get your fucking was, hands off. It was off an of us. emotional time. Well, Richard, cool. Richard, Fine Richard, it was just a song that was a moving song. No. No, no, he has no. Richard and and touch. Jack, Richard Ooh. and Jack, uh -huh. hey, this guy is a bishop, a black bishop in the black. Yes. I would imagine in, in a black matter. church, right? Yeah. Probably the church that was it the one that Aretha sang at when she was uh, growing up. I think so. Father? Yes. Yeah. No, no, no. Uh, she sang at her father's church. Uh, this guy pastors oh, a church uh, in Atlanta, uh, and he had uh, delivered the eulogy for Aretha Franklin's. Father C. L. Franklin, some thirty-four, thirty-five years. So I didn't look that old. Well, I'm telling you that. Oh, is this I... the second guy or the guy with the tit? <laughs> <laughs> what can you say about is this? this? Ariana's Groper, or was this the second guy with the uh, second guy? We're second guy. It's yeah, not Ariana guy. Groper. It's Ariana Grande. So, okay. <laughs> Good line, Bennett. No, but I mean, uh, I mean, no, is no, is, no, is no, this? You what know, just you were about to ask me. just like we expect certain, we expect but certain not, things out of Catholic priests. Uh, is this what we have to look for in black bishops? I mean, are they gropey? Oh yeah. Hey, I, I learned yeah. one thing tonight, Alex. Wait, wait a minute. I, I want an answer, Tim, from these people. You got first. two black guys on the panel tonight. Yes. That's and uh, uh, my experience with black ministers. I only knew one that I would say to a woman in my life, whether daughter, wife, girlfriend, you can trust it. That's my oh, experience. Snap, one. That's, Damn. That's a now we have another black man on the panel. I'd like to know his opinion. Mr. Spencer? Uh, well, we had a couple like of ministers that were kind of iffy and stuff around younger women mm -hmm. that's about it I have a close friend uh, Don Pipkin he's a bishop and he's got 2,000 parishioners in his church well, and he's he, he, right he, he, he's, a, he's a very close friend of mine and I can tell you I would trust him with my family uh, beyond trust the, nope. the, you know sometimes there are people that aren't looking to grope somebody's tit and I can tell you that the one black minister that I know, who is a bishop, uh, and I've known him for 20 years, uh, and uh, he considers me part of his family, I can tell you that I would trust him beyond trust. And just, and I don't think uh, putting the, uh, just because they're a minister and they, and they have a church, uh, I don't think you can put them in this kind of category. Uh, well, well, the and, question was asked to me, is this something that happens yes it is something that happens in black churches every church is white a term church. that i hate because you know dr king said sunday morning at 11 a.m is the most segregated time in america but i got uh, one for you jack i got not one if you're for jewish you. it's saturday <laughs> friday night the only priest i knew worked at the ohio penitentiary he was uh, friends with don king Mm -hmm. And half the mafia, half the mafia, mafia members out of Cleveland, Ohio, and he liked be, he liked being around the girls. And, the, I, the, and then we had a neighbor that used to work as a house mother for a priest in Columbus, Ohio, and she had all kinds of stories to tell about how they'd get drunk and how she had to, you know, you know, be their den mother. Well, basically. you know, seeing what this bishop is accused of doing, I want to know what what's happening with the, you know. What, what, why don't we go back to the good old days of Ike Turner? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, just, where you just, can, just beat yeah. him. 
just beat us. us. It's so much better. You know, so, uh, I, when I when I grew up, I grew up near Graymore. By the way, uh, by the way, you know the thing brothers. that was terrible about Ike Turner was that he was the guy who literally recorded the first rock and roll record ever. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah. So he he kind of I invented it. his wife. Huh? He beat his wife. That's according to his wife. Um, I'm pretty sure now it's all fairly well documented. Well, she went through a whole lot of vetting. Had, did you not see her movie? Well, I, just because it was a movie doesn't make it true. Yeah. Yeah, like he denied it. Not at all. He did not. He was a jackass. And, and, and I'm so proud. And Tina Turner hates... Tina Turner does not live in the United States. Like most very well off black people, they don't like it here because we treat them like servants, like shit. And mm -hmm. guess what's going to happen? Great. Uh, the best thing about Donald Trump is going to be all the fucking white people that think their shit doesn't stink is going to be staff now, too. Okay, let's uh, well, let's get off of this uh, this uh, this line of uh, whatever, and and get to uh, a couple of other news stories today, like the hearing for our esteemed uh, Supreme Court justice to be. Uh, what did you, anybody any of you watch it? Yeah. Most of some of it. Yeah, I, I watched. It. Yeah, I watched it. For a while, I was mesmerized by it, especially when Why? I was cheering every time somebody in the crowd was yelling out. You know, I was. Why, why did you watch it? Ten, because it was on. Yeah, I know. Okay, uh, so it, it, you, you guys do house. realize that there's no way that the Democrats can stop this, uh, and I that don't, all I, of we we've got no say in this. I, you might as well just stop. I said the same thing before. So. I don't. I don't think so. I, I oh. can summarize the hearing in one sentence. A conspiracy. Now, Fred Gutenberg, who lost his daughter uh, at the shooting at Parkland walked over to shake Kavanaugh's hand. As soon as he heard Parkland, Kavanaugh turned away, raced off, and told security to move that guy away. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. That, there you go. There's Kavanaugh in a, in a, 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 in a 10 seconds. Uh, how, uh, how come that wasn't mentioned, uh, uh, you know, in the uh, By the way, we have, a ro we have a royal flush. What? No, it was on the yeah. news, Phil. You just didn't watch the it news. Was, yeah. That, it, it was, was on news. Fox News. No, Fred, Fred, he was on a, uh, Lawrence, I believe, and also yeah. Chris Hayes, maybe. Fred Gutenberg. We slaughtered his daughter, and yet he can't, sh and, and the, the appointee couldn't shake his hand. You know, that's well, The NRA screams. spent a million dollars to put ads out to support Kavanaugh, which is just it makes me sick. Yeah. Well, it Where doesn't we matter. We don't, we don't have it. We can't stop it. So. Hey, what's the deal with the ads? How about, how about if the Democrats insist on reading all the evidence into the record? They can't get it. One line at a time. The, the President of the United States said that he's President of the United States and he's not going to release hundreds of thousands no, of pages. No, there but there are, there are 40,000 pages they dumped on them yesterday, last night. Right, but there's still hundreds of thousands. They're they can say, we didn't get a chance to read them, so to let's read them here. Well, <laughs> Well, wait a minute. Phil said it's obstruction. What do you think the thing that happened with Obama's apartment? That was obstruction. Uh, right. Uh, that was collusion. <laughs> All right, it was a collusion to obstruct. Hey, Phil, you fat fuck. You're splitting ton hairs Hello. Now, aren't you? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Welcome to Brian. <laughs> I'm yeah. a boy. I love it when you come through. Hey, Phil. Yeah. You're full of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys know who it bought the like first book? The, the first Woodward book? Oh, right. Well, to begin uh, with, nobody could have bought it yet because it hasn't been released. That no, it was no. directly from Wood, Bob Woodward. It was bought by Mike Pence. Did he get it autographed? No, he's just using it as a, as a, as a playbook. Doorstop, doorstop. Yeah, he, yeah. Well, I, I don't think he could have read it because it hasn't been released yet. No, but people have gotten copies. People in the of all the media well then he didn't now. buy one you said you know it was the first guy to buy it well if they were yeah. released uh, if a preview copy was released then a lot of people got them besides him no it was actually just a joke but the the media got copies and they're uh, yeah. they limited it to a couple reporters to read it and comment on it yeah hi ray yeah. renati 
Hey, how's it going? Yeah, did you get to see these hearings today? I did watch part of it. Yeah, that was very, very entertaining. Yeah, I cheered oh, every not. time. Every time somebody else got up and and uh, uh, yelled and screamed out, because yeah. I, what, what's amazing to me is here is the capital of the United States, where we re, where we believe in the freedom of speech, and these people were hauled away for freedom of speech. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> well, unbelievable. To, yeah, Putin's I mean America, the senator the senators were even, weren't even allowed to talk until they tried for fifteen minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I started doing, Alex? What? Started singing, it's one, two, three, what are we fighting for? Yeah. Yeah. It's going yeah. yeah don't give See, and for, I was listening, so Bill Maher said something stupid again. So mm -hmm. Bill Maher said, you know, every time we have an election, we always tell you the worst possible things, and we're always telling you you have to vote. Now, the answer to this is, we told you what shit was going to come down if you didn't vote, and you didn't vote. So congratulations, this is your America. Well, you know, I, I think that, to begin with, people did vote. You know, uh, people voted. 24% of Americans did not vote. It, well, yes, but what I'm saying is uh, Hillary didn't lose because she didn't have the vote. She definitely had the vote. She had it by 3 million people, you know. So that, you know, what, what happened was is somebody played the numbers game with the Electoral College. And, and that's why Trump is president. And why now, we, it, it's apparent we have a madman in the White House, if you believe Woodward's book. We got, we got a lot of help from Cambridge Analytica and Jared Kushner as well. As well, well and as now, the data processor for the RNC. But also, let's be honest, this is the only democracy with some kind of monkey system where monkey. you get... That's right. That's a black <laughs> expression. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Are we, we are allowed to use right, that one? Right, Brother Patterson. Is that a black expression or is that a black expression? We're in Florida uh, all of a sudden. Is it, am, I, am I lying? Are you talking about? Are you yeah. talking about? Are you, are you talking uh, about it was Richard? The governor, the gubernatorial, gubernatorial race in uh, Florida. Uh, the Republican used the word uh, "don't." The the the, the uh, Democratic His name is would, don't monkey it up. Yeah, to he don't monkey it up exactly. It up. Purposely, absolutely, yeah. purposely. You know what the planned. latest poll is? Well, see, I disagree. Uh, I, DeSantis I, by fifty percent. I, I think there's a, there's no. A, it's fifty percent to forty-seven with Gilliamhead. Really? That'll be interesting. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of time left, uh, and, and Gillum is, uh, there's some sort of FBI inquiry into Tallahassee yeah, he's, he's and Florida. related to somebody who's, uh, he's associated with somebody who's being investigated. But who uh -huh. is it nowadays? And Phil, well, according to the Republicans. Yeah. Well, wait a minute, hold on a second. I was talking with Ray. Uh, you know, I felt that monkey thing was, uh, it was picking hairs. You know, I, I don't think he meant that racially. I mean, Do you have a racial web, a racist website, that monkey, uh, the monkey website you have. No, so I hang have on it. a second. There's a I huge had difference here. There, 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 what, 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 is, what is that website? Something monkey. The surfing monkey. Surfing monkey. Yeah, and it's a picture of a monkey on a surfboard. An actual. Monkey. Absolutely. <laughs> the word. I hope you know I'm kidding. Isn't... Yes, Ray. Hey, Alex, yes, wait a minute. Let, wait a minute. Let Ray. Articulate. Yes, that I just is, wanted to answer. Slurs okay. okay. When you put them together. Trouble, uh, Je uh, Tim, is you can't see Surfing people's hands monkey. raised like crazy. Ray, first. I just want, Alex. I just wanted to respond to what you said. I, I understand what you're saying. It's just I watched it a bunch of times, and he really articulated the monkeying around, as though it were practiced. And I was thinking, if I were directing a, a film or play, it looked like an actor making sure he said the key words in the line. I mean, it was so. It just sounded well, so it, it just, planned it, it, out to me. You know, I, and I'm not saying that he's that he's a bigot. I'm just saying that. Listen, he's I white. He's from Florida. And he's a Republican. Of course, he's a racist. Well, I'm saying they, they try. I feel like they did it on purpose to try to get the guy to bite, and he didn't. You know. He yeah, did. And, and to, he came back no, and said it was he, racist. Yeah, but he didn't make a huge. No, other people. Uh, he didn't say it was he racist. Did. Wait a minute. I he did not say it was did. racist, Phil. Other people no, said it was racist. No, other people uh, did. Gillum did. But no, he, no, 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 Gillum, Gillum did, did not. That, uh, Gillum he was going low. Or no, something Gillum did not. He was not the one that called it racist initially. No, he wasn't. 
Uh, he God. said it was Get low. Get your facts and he, straight, that, Phil. He was surprised Get, that DeSantis no, went there. Yes, when he was asked. He didn't right. suddenly make statements about no, well, what a yeah, racist statement it was. Yes, wow. uh, Phil. I mean, uh, uh, Jack. To put this whole question of monkey into perspective, as yeah. Renee might remember, and maybe uh, Ray Renati as well, Friday night on my program, The Intersection, which comes along in about 16, 17 minutes, <laughs> I reminded them of what Alexander Dumas had to say. It's pronounced, Dumas, by the way, it's pronounced Dumas. Are you going to give me articulation? Didn't he say, I have one life to give for my country? No. No. Uh-huh. You know, so what he did say... <laughs> at a party when someone who today would be a Republican probably asked him, Monsieur Dumas, is it true that your father was an octoroon? Now, octoroon was a southern expression, one uh, fostered by the uh, French in New Orleans. Eighth black. One eighth black. Mm -hmm. And Dumas said, yes, that is true. And then he said, is it true that your grandfather was a quadru? And he said, yes, that is true. Then the guy asked him, and is it true that your great-grandfather was a mulatto? And he said, yes, it is true. And he said, and your great-great-grandfather was a mulatto? He said, yes, that's true. So therefore, your great-great-great-grandfather had to be a monkey and he said yes my pedigree begins where yours ends i love that very good i had to go back now it was a very long story with a very bad french accent we know you're macaroon yeah we know you're a fluffy (laughs) macaroon and according to we know that to some people because i work with you uh, and i've done country music on the radio Eek. i'm the oreo cookie but i've made a lot of money out of it yeah by the way richard richard let me just ask you a second what do you think about the whole monkey statement are you familiar? i mean yeah i mean i didn't really i, I understand but to me, that was like a like he was trying to do like a dog whistle, but it felt like a megaphone. <laughs> so he, he, okay. Exactly. That's exactly how it seemed to me. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Don't discount the base of Florida. Don't don't discount the conservative, uh, wing nut, wackadoodle. Uh, I want to play with this Confederate fa- yeah. flag and. Um, rub my privates along it because it brings me such excitement based don't forget by, about the base. by the way you know richard saying? where are you calling from uh I'm calling from north little rock north little rock arkansas my, that's south hey my what? wife is from little rock let's all get together uh <laughs> you're assuming is, can i ask a question <laughs> yeah wait, wait, does wait, trump wait. does trump orangutan around <laughs> yeah, you know, why can't we nail his ass? I think he does. I think he orangutans around. Well, what now? Wait a minute. Now, he, he, there's this Woodward book that's out, uh, and, and and among other things, and this is the <laughs> one. Yeah, if it's if it's yes. if you believe in it, it's true. If it's uh, he doesn't fed his sources. Oh yeah, yeah. Woodward he, he is a, yeah. To, Woodward you know, he names anonymous sources yeah, that yeah, say yeah, things. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you know yeah. he did obviously he didn't vet. You know, Phil, I love didn't, you. Didn't get confirmation. Well, anyway, here, you, here's Phil. the here's the yeah, here's the point. <laughs> the part that scared me was when it, when he called Mattis and told him he wanted Assad assassinated. How do you feel about a president that's assassination crazy? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> oh, God. Because assassinating other world, leader has, uh, other world leaders has no reason. It was probably taken out of context. Supposedly, Mattis, Mattis, missiles down Mattis his, said, uh, I'll look into it, and then promptly forgot to do anything about it. On purpose. Yeah. Hey, uh, you know, we were talking about uh, the word Republican. Well, in the by the way, I just brought something up, and you're changing the subject. <laughs> oh, well, I want to get the subject because you want to get minutes. away. You want to get and away. Dad, you're fighting again. You want to get away with the stuff that's lethal. <laughs> how about Kelly? How about Kelly referring to to the White House? Uh, Kelly referring to the White House as Crazy Town. I heard uh, that. I, I think that's probably fake news too. 
No, Kelly, my goodness. I don't goodness. think Kelly said that. Well, okay, well, think about well, this. If Kelly is a military man and he saw all this bullshit running around him, it's very possible those words came I out of his mouth. I think a lot of it is <laughs> fake news. One of the one of the best one of the best <laughs> stories, as I mentioned hey, Alex, earlier. What do you think about Gary Khan? Do you think, does that make him a hero because he took papers off the desk? Yeah, explain. Yeah. It, it, tell tell that story, Tim. It's kind of yeah, interesting. Let's hear well, it. Well, Gary Khan, who who eventually was let go. Uh, th th there was some kind of agreement that Trump was going to sign, and it would mess up our foreign relations. I don't, I forget the details now. And he saw it on the tr Trump's desk, but it should have never got there. It hadn't been gone through the right channels, and he just figured Trump was going to sign it because Trump asks for simple things and usually gets them. And he took the paper off his desk and figured Trump would just never know it was missing. <laughs> Not if but it wasn't we, properly presented. Taking paper off the president's That's, desk. And how about yeah, I, I mentioned it earlier? Take, get rid of the president yeah. who's sitting at the desk. How about really getting this information? Paper on his desk That's from Woodward's it. book. Yeah, well, Woodward uh, obviously, you know, is not very credible at this point. Oh yeah. You know, Why? Wow. Trump is. Oh. Trump is credible. Oh. Oh. Uh, how the well, hell does that come out of your mouth? How about this other story? How about this other because. story? Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let me because. talk. Even Let me Fred talk. Newman. Let me yeah. talk. Trust Let me Woodward. talk. Come can, on. I, can I talk? Why should I trust no. Woodward? No, you can't talk. No, it's your show. <laughs> hey, there's, there, it's a full, it's a royal flush. Yeah, yeah. apparently. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> what I was going to say is I mentioned box. earlier the story. What do you think about the fact that he told somebody that the reason he didn't like McCain is he thought McCain was a coward because when it came time to go home, he went. Okay. And, and implying that. that he didn't stay behind when he was when he was offered the chance to go home, he took it, and somebody I, had to inform him that it was quite the opposite. I I I I wonder if the source of this story is credible. But listen, what are the chances, Phil, that Trump you know, is a is fucking moron? Post? is a fucking idiot because he's Trump doing everything he promised he'd do no but that, uh, it, I, no no I no no the, time I don't out. Think these sources have a reason to lie i really but don't think they have anything to gain just, uh, just i think said, there's a lot of people that lie about trump no you just said Not that the people that work for him including don't trump. have to one no, of his no, promises no. was he was going to run it like a business, and he has he's planning on uh, just burning the whole country down and getting the insurance money well, the guy had four, That's a four Jewish business. in the same SIC code. He doesn't know shit about his own business. No, I, Phil did say something that was absolutely correct. Trump listen. is doing what he said he was going to do. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. the dumb sons of bitches in this country didn't believe him when he said it. So, oh, he's just he's just saying that to get votes. No, Where, I don't think so. Where's your wall, He's been a failure at business for decades. Well, he's he's so the president, so and you don't even have a camera. Where's your wall? Where's your wall, Phil? Where are infrastructure jobs? Why is great make great America great again not true? Because he's making uh, China great again by giving it them jobs. It is true because it, I where? have it on my hat. No, you have NRA on your hat. Oh, well, I'll get the other one. Made okay. in China. Yeah, oh, the NRA which one. MAGA hat are we talking about, Phil? The red one or the one wrapped in tinfoil? <laughs> <laughs> That's so he can watch TV. Hey, hey, this made talk. in America. Where's your dunce cap? Hey, Ray, you know, on my show, when somebody gets a line like that, they get up. Oh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. No sound effects on my show. No sound oh, effects. Fuck you, show. too. <laughs> and the horse you rode in. No, and, and can I be bitchy about you, about what Ivanka and, and Jared, the criminal, the doctor of the No, you yeah, can't be. Yeah, so so Jack, one of the jackasses. Yeah, so either Tom Ryan or whoever the actual guy is, got Ivanka and Jared tickets uh, access to uh, John McCain's funeral. They asked McCain's wife, and uh, she okayed it after the request. Right, and what did Ivanka's uh, handler, uh, Ivanka and Jared's handler, say? Tweet. What did he tweet? I don't know. Who's his handler? I don't know. The guy tweeted, it's really a shame that they couldn't, it couldn't put them closer to the front to be in the, right. the uh, head group. Something like that. It means that they, 
they they went and they weren't in first class, so they got this is not what we decided. And you know who talks I like that? Who who, who, fucking who came toilet. up with that? I, you don't even know who this handler is. They're not. This like could just be funny how fast you're getting at. So this could just be some guy tweeting, you know, from Ohio. That's probably a fat guy in his guy bedroom, huh? Yeah, 400 pound yeah. guy on his computer. Yeah, 400 guy, yeah. pound guy. In his By the way, we've lost Jack Bishop because he has to go get a show ready. So yeah, <laughs> I hope some of you guys will yeah. call him. They're not first class people, so fuck them in the ass with the MAGA hat. As far as oh I'm yeah, concerned. I, I compl- It was so declassé. Did did so she bad. wear a MAGA hat? Yeah, Phil. There you go. Maybe your fist can sit up there too while you're at it. You know, that is one of the ugliest fucking hats I've ever seen. I mean, I love caps, and I love a good cap like this one. It has a nice, you know, right? But yeah, look at that. Last thing. Year's it, cap. it looks yeah, like some. Father, you know, that looks like that. something that uh, Elmer Fudd would wear. That's an Elmer <laughs> Fudd up, hat. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. You know. hey, Ray, can you do Elmer? Yes. Uh, Ray can do Elmer Fudd. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting rabbits. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So, anyway. Uh, President, Trump, President Trump has made us all better people. Yes. Uh, no, it's the fact that we're now people. Looney Tunes. And wealthier. Now Looney Tunes. Oh, right. That's going to go so well because... The senior citizen rate for medical bankruptcy is going up. Yeah. And that makes me feel sad, but it makes the Republicans feel happy for some reason. Se- hey, hey, wait a minute, I'm what's not that? a what? senior citizen yet. I don't care. What did you say <laughs> for senior citizens? I didn't hear that. The rate of senior citizens filing for bankruptcy due to medical bill, oh, uh, yeah. unable to pay their medical bills has gone up. Right. And will continue to go up. And every Republican that voted for Donald Trump, it's all on you, bitches. It's all on you. Oh, yeah. And they're going to take away Roe versus Wade. And they're going to take away your rights. And they're going to put you in gulags. You know, that's the scare tactics that you guys have been using since 1865. We already have Mexican children in gulags, don't we? Yeah. Hey, did yeah. You guys, well, did you guys we have American about? children in halfway homes because their parents got arrested and the children is, get put in uh, group homes. Oh, what does that have to do with anything? Right? Well, exactly. all, the, all this thing that the Mexican kids are in is just a big group home. Oh, you got to be shitting me. Yeah, yeah. it's a big group home. <laughs> what are you going to do with them? You arrest their parents. They broke the law. No, fuck that. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, listen, that uh, kind of is uh, the, uh, it wraps it up. We've got some theme play in here. First all of right, all, I want to thank, I want to thank Richard, Richard Spencer. i got to go take a shower. I want to thank Richard <laughs> Spencer for calling Wonderful us this culture. evening. I also want to thank uh, Tim. I want to thank it's Scott. Perfect. I want to thank Jeff. I want to thank Ray. I want to thank Phil. Uh, I want to thank know, Renee, why? Kevin. Hey, Brian, thank you so much. I, uh, Richard, I really... right? Richard was here? Richard was here. He left us. Uh, okay. So because but I guess he thought it was over, Jack. and it is over. So, you know. And uh, uh, Jack is next with the intersection, so maybe some of you will join him. Uh, meanwhile, I think that what I'd like you all to do is give a nice... <laughs> what is that you got there, Kevin? <laughs> That's my oh, Bigfoot big driver's oh, license. Ray. Ray. Scotch. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, anyway, give a big round, uh, give a big wave goodbye, okay, everybody? Just a big wave goodbye. There, there we go. There they are. They're leaving me like crazy. So let me leave them before they leave me. Uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight. Wow, that was a lot of them tonight. A, a royal flush is what we call it when we get that many people. I'm Alex Bennett. Uh, Jack is next with the intersection. He will be followed very closely by Connections at 1 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time. Tomorrow night at 8.30, it's the arena with the franchise MC at 9.30. Damian Chaplin with the exchange. I'll be back again tomorrow night at 10, same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye, everybody.